Let's jump right in here and look at these labels. They look a little bit messy, but with one keystroke, Macabacus can instantly clean them up. Let's undo that and just dive in and take a look and investigate exactly what the software is doing. What we're using there is a function called clean cells. If we go up to the Macabacus section of the ribbon, in this model section right here under formulas, we can find here clean cells. Let's dive in and investigate and figure out exactly what it's doing. So the problem with these labels is that they have redundant spaces. For example, you can see here on item two, there's a space before the first word starts. On item number three, you can see one, two spaces in between those words. And another example here on item four, which is almost impossible to spot, is that there's a space after the number four. Now, if we weren't using Macabacus, we could go up to an adjacent cell and put in a trim function, select the cell, and then copy downwards. And this has cleaned up the labels, but of course, we're not done. We'd have to copy these and paste them as values back over here in order to complete the repair. Let's go over here and clean these out and investigate how Macabacus can help. First thing we want to do is extend our selection down here to include these labels. Now we just hit Control Shift L and instantly they're cleaned up. It's like Macabacus just ran a trim function through all these labels for us instantaneously. This is probably the first and most obvious use for clean cells in Macabacus, but there are others. Let's take a look. As you can see with this formula down at the bottom, what we're doing is dividing the total by the volume to get the total per unit. Let's imagine that we're just rebuilding this formula. We take the total and we're gonna divide it by volume, but we think we have to go over to the products page here to find volume. But then we remember actually volume is back over here, right here, and we hit enter. Now let's go back into that cell, hit F2, and investigate. As we can see, the word items is here for the current worksheet that we're on, but it's not needed. It only appeared because we went over to the products page and then went back. The other thing which you'll find in spreadsheets sometimes is extra spaces. For example, someone may have inserted a few spaces around these cell references just in order to space it out a little bit and make it clearer to read. The clean cells function can help us with both of these things. Let's highlight these cells across here and hit again, Control Shift L. Now let's go investigate. All the extra spaces here are gone and the items name that was here before cell H14 has also been stripped out and cleaned up for us. This is a great example of a function which we find ourselves using more and more at CFI. Once we have something built, we can run clean cells and make sure that all the labels and the formulas have been properly cleaned up. If you're enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and we'll see you soon in the next video.